I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown is not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality, but... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. A great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent the Brown administration. They don't say so publicly, of course. But in private? Well, just listen. I tell you, Bert, this regime is a joke. They're all laughing at us over in Fairfax. A toast to Citizen Brown. May his beloved courthouse be struck by lightning. Shh, Agnes, you're awful. Are you coming to the town square, Lester? Citizen Brown's about to give another speech. Citizen Brown can kiss my hairy... Well, you get the idea. Uh, it sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. <laughs> Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe you should take your tapes directly to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. Why don't you give me those videotapes? I'll take them to Citizen Brown. Thanks for offering, son, but I don't want to get you involved. Citizen Brown won't like what he sees on them, and I wouldn't want you to get the brunt of his displeasure, not to mention the displeasure of all the folks on the tapes. Once they find out I recorded them... No, I'm not letting these tapes out of my sight. It's too dangerous. It's about Mom. She's thinking about signing up for the Citizen Plus program. Is she now? You, you're not gonna let her go through with it, are you? Well, from what I hear, it's a fairly drastic procedure which completely reshapes the subject's personality. On the other hand, if Citizen Brown recommends it, it's gotta be a good thing. How'd she get to be such a mess? This isn't how she is in my... in my perfect world. You're right, it's a real puzzle. Because of course we both know Hill Valley is a perfect world. But for some peculiar reason, the harder I try to get her to conform to the rules, the more she slips up. Don't you think Mom would be a little more relaxed if you gave her just a little bit of space? Now, there's a fine suggestion! What would Hill Valley be like if people gave each other space? Why, we'd all be tempted to follow our own impulses, and there's no telling where that might lead. Hmm. Something on your mind? So about you and your, uh, work. Shoot. You seem to be really into this spying business. It's not spying, son. It's cinema verite. These candid moments of Hill Valley's residents will eventually be compiled and edited into the documentaries and promotional materials that advertise our way of life to the rest of the world. True, you can argue that I've taken things to extremes, but I still get up to take my meals, and of course, to use the facilities. You're supposed to be... I mean, wouldn't you rather spend your time writing, say, science fiction novels? Science fiction... I did mess around with that once, but that was before Citizen Brown made it illegal. Science fiction's illegal? Sci-fi promotes an unhealthy obsession with the fantastic and impossible, and it encourages the idea that there might be better societies than Hill Valley, which is subversive nonsense, of course. <laughs> well, okay, <clears throat> different subject. Yeah. Basically, you're one of them, or... It's about you me. You are one I'm of all them. Ears. Well, I... Uh, from certain things I've heard, I get the idea that people in this town regard Marty McFly as a... As a what? A nerd. They said that? In so many words. 
just because a boy studies hard and gets straight A's and respects the rules and doesn't party or drink or stay out late and is perhaps a bit socially inept and obsessed with personal hygiene and prefers his rubber band collection Stop. to- Stop! I really don't want to hear anymore. I'm proud of you, son. I'm trying to understand why Jennifer broke up with me in this time. Uh, you recent past. Are you still mooning over that girl? Forget her! She's bad news! Why, my surveillance cameras have caught her doing things that, that are completely against the Hill Valley Code. I don't want to know. Kissing boys. Sitting with boys in cars. I've kept quiet about it for her father's sake, but believe me, you're well rid of her. You, uh, is there anywhere you expect me to be, like, right now? Well, I did expect you to be up at the lake until tomorrow with that math and magic competition, so <laughs> I guess your time is pretty much your own right now. Okay, different math subject. Math and magic? Yeah. It's about someone we both know. Yes? Have you seen Biff lately? Not since he went to the reconditioning center. Is he back among the living? Depends on what you mean by living. He's really different from the way I remember him. Lucky dog. In a way, it isn't fair that Hill Valley's biggest scoff law should be the first to receive the benefits of the new Citizens Plus program. But I know I shouldn't be jealous. Well, Have you ever Brown. spent time with Citizen Brown? Well, of course I'm in the audience for every one of his public addresses. One-on-one, -on -one, I mean. Oh, no. He'd never notice a common Sector L citizen like me. But I dream that someday he'll recognize me for my public service and maybe let me shake his hand. What can you tell me about Edna? Mrs. Citizen Brown? Oh, she's a wonderful woman. People just think of her as this sweet, self-effacing, grandmotherly type. Edna? Are we talking about the same? But really, she's just as involved in running the town as her husband is. Uh, David and Linda. Have you heard from them? No, I thought maybe you had. <sighs> Not in ages. As far as I know, he's still working for the big city newspaper, and she's still in that women's boarding house. I'll never understand why they decided to leave Hill Valley. Hmm. Something on your mind? Hill Valley has... A lot of rules. It certainly does, for our own good. If I got caught with a contraband item, I'd get in a lot of trouble, right? You certainly would. You could be facing up to a thousand demerits, depending on the item. But of course, you wouldn't be caught dead with anything illegal. It's your mother I'm worried about. If I got caught with a... Oops. You certainly would, of course, you... Public kissing is illegal, right? Ah, oh, the old PDA law. Indeed it is. And what's more, violation carries a hefty load of demerits. But you know, it's a law people break with surprising regularity. Why, I could show you videotaped evidence. How exactly do people get other people to break it? On second thought, perhaps I shouldn't show you the videotaped evidence. Did you ever harbor a dangerous animal? Aha! Couldn't if I wanted to. They've all been banned. But I did catch something very interesting on one of my monitors yesterday. Which one was it? Oh, yes. Does that look like a stray dog to you? Whatever it is, Edna's Animal Patrol will make short work of it. Hmm. Something on... What's the deal with the house, Dad? Sorry, I don't just know talking, how to tell you this, son. Just... But while I you were exactly away in your math and magic competition, our house got slapped with a CZ36 violation. What? I know, it's so embarrassing. Your mother's mortified. She works so hard to keep a clean house, but those dust mites are so hard to keep down. Wait a minute, we can't go into the house because of dust mites? Well, not until they send in the cleanup crew. This is ridiculous. Thank goodness they let me move my office out here into the garage. Hill Valley has a lot of rules. It certainly does for our own... Oh. Oh. Yeah. How exactly... I'm glad to see you taking an interest. 
each of these monitors is connected to multiple cameras, of which I've strategically jacked <clears throat> into throughout the valley, with official clearance, of course. I can switch between cameras with these buttons. There's also a VCR for each monitor. I keep a record of everything I see. So, if I happen across something intriguing, I can keep it on file. So, uh, when is this dust my problem going to be solved so I can get to all my stuff? Well, the cleanup crew said they'd probably get around to it by tonight, but they're kind of backed up, so I wouldn't expect them until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Where am I supposed to sleep? I got it all covered, son. We're gonna camp out back just like we did when you were little. Okay, this timeline is officially a nightmare. How exactly does this... I'm... Eat you out the BCO in... Alright, so... Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. I'll leave you to it. Right. Another day in Hill Valley. Uh -huh. The perfect place to live. That wasn't a note. Hey, what's my guitar doing out here? Your mother and I convinced you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown Admin.